This video is part 4 of Santiago Bridge Modeling Course Series. In the previous video, we created different railing systems of the bridge. And in this video, we're going to look at how to create tension feature column to support the whole structure. If you didn't watch the part 3, I recommend you to do so. Click the link in the top right corner or the link in the description. And if you want to follow along with this tutorial, make sure you download the files in the description. Let's create this elegant piece of this structure. We're going to use a morph tool to do that. Let's open the uh, profile worksheets. If you see here, we have two types of profiles. We have this one where there is a solid and then this I demarcated or divided this uh, profile into some parts. So you're gonna, I'm going to use the same profile so that you can understand the pros and cons of this approach. So let's copy both profiles, hit Control C on your keyboard, and then let's open um, the elevations that is along the length or the span of the bridge, and then place the profiles there. I'm going to use the center of the screen, and then let's move it up a bit like so, then click outside to complete the operation. Perfect. So to start, I'll start with the, the solid uh, profile. Let's go to the design tool and activate our morph tool. Then hit um, space bar key in the keyboard to activate the magic wand and then place your morph. Make sure the geometry method um, is the first uh, tab. Then check on the 3D. This is what you get. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this um, uh, feature or play. So I'll select this and then make sure you pick the surface, not the edge. Pick the surface. Even the cursor will let you know. This is the surface by showing that you or kind of a thing. If you select the edge, it will tick like so. So if let's click on the surface so that the pet palette gives us the extrude or push and pull to like so and then i'm gonna type 1.2 that's like that if you orbit a bit like so so that you can have this view and then we're going to add details to this uh, feature remember it's an elegant piece of this bridge the center piece of this bridge so I'm going to fillet all the edges. By so doing, let's pick one of the edge like so. And then the pet palette will give us this tool. So let's pick fillet or chamfer in the list of the tools. I'm going to use 400 as to chamfer. Make sure you chamfer not fillet. Then hit OK. That was the challenge with using this approach, uh, guys. So I'll get rid of this and then I'll show you the, the best way to, to do that. So let's delete this, go back to the elevation and then I'll make sure I'll get rid of this. It's very difficult just to get the certain or the desired radius of fillet when you are using um a complex profile or a complex feature like this more especially dealing with the move so the best way is to separate or divide your piece into some chewable i'll say chewable pieces like the way i've done here as you can see so we're gonna this means we're gonna use multiples or multiples of morphs to create this piece so let me just move this into a better position like so for the time being i'm gonna also use the floor plan to position it don't worry about the position at the moment so let's activate the move tool from the design tool palette and then hit uh, the keyboard space keyboard or the make sure the geometry method is the polygonal 
or just hit G for the shortcut. So I'm gonna place place for all the all the components. I'll zoom in for this one and then place. I'll also do it for the circle. The circle that I'm going to use to create a hole here. Zoom out. There we go. And then let's check on the 3D. What I want to do, I want to isolate. Let's isolate this. So I'm going to select all these components. Just like so. When you're dealing with morph, you better be patient, guys. It's not an easy selection. Oh, sorry. As you can see, it's disappeared. I can fit in window. I've messed up. Sorry, guys, for that. Let's zoom in. And then select the base of our feature. Right click on the screen or hit F5 for the shortcut. We're going to isolate this. Show selection in my queue. Perfect. Now we have this separated. What I'm going to do, just pick a perfect view. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this. You can select all of these and try to extrude once. But it's not always the case. Sometimes it does, sometimes it's not happening. I don't know what you see. So I'll just enter 1.2. So I'll do the same to the other blocks. I'll use this as a reference. Do the same for that one and the last the last block just like so perfect now let's go ahead and chamfer the edges of our piece so start with this one pick the edge pick fillet then I'm gonna use 400 hit enter there we go move to the next um, block fillet 400 let's go to the last one of fillet 400 you can you can use this feature applied to all edges but we have different um types of edges here we're going we just want to fillet the edges that are vertical not anything so as unfortunate we can't use it so we have to go one by one and um, manually do that let's move to the next side and make sure it's on the center of the screen. Pick that. Fillet. Move to the other block. Fillet. Let's go to the other side. Nice. Pick the edge. Four hundred. Pick. and did the other side but make sure 
you have a clear window for selection for picking your your edges let's do that and then see what it happened so let's undo and correct this perfect go back to the other side and try to select the right edge Now we have um, everything in place as you can see it looks very very nice it looks really nice so let's create a hole a hole is pretty simple what I'm going to do I'm going to extrude this as well that way to pass through the main thing and make sure it's protruding on the other on both sides and then control shift D to duplicate this with the same point just like that and then taking advantages of being it selected let's right click on the screen go to boolean operation and pick subtract i'll start first with this one and click on it and then select the remaining uh, cylinder right click again boolean operation subtract let's do the the base perfect we have our our nice feature and place the other thing that I want to share with you is this part if you look at um, here what we can do we can also um, fillet the vertices of of this uh, piece so if you pick this vertex it will give you different tools this time around we can't give you um, push or pull because you are not picking the surfaces we are picking the vertices so in this case you're given a given move is either you fillet or chamfer the corners let's just do so i'll still use the same 400 as you can see now it's been chamfered let's do this side and then perfect there we go so what we can do you can go ahead and um uh, union this by selecting everything and then right clicking go to boolean operations and union to make it one but i don't want to do that for future editing purposes i will just hit on ctrl g to group the components so that in case i want to edit one of the components i will just suspend or ungroup this and select that specific component to edit that's the the way forward so let's go to the top view to position our our centerpiece so there we go so what i'll do i'll select make sure the suspend group is unactive i'll move here and pick it straight by the midpoint bring it where it's supposed to this is the position where it's supposed to be placed 
Perfect. Snow. It's not straight, I don't know why. Let's rotate it a bit. I think we pick this point. Let's pick that point to there. Let's make sure it's sitting on the center. Give it time, guys. It's an elegant feature. You don't want to rush it. Make sure you do the right thing. Let's check on the 3D. Right click and show all in 3D. There we go. Our bridge is taking its shape because you can see um, it was pretty easy to really use multiple morphs to come up with this feature guys okay thank you for watching um i'll see you in the next video the next video will be looking at adding more details like putting cable tension cable wires we're gonna create the cable anchors here around the base of our our bridge and then i'm gonna understand how to um do other stuff in this feature as well to accommodate the tension cables thank you guys tune up for the next video where we'll be creating all the remaining accessories for this uh, bridge so if you are new to this channel make sure you do the right thing subscribe and hit the notification bell for being notified for more videos like this ones thank you Bye-bye.